All right, guys, in this video, I wanna show you a brand new product research technique that I've been using the last few weeks with some very, very promising results. Now, this does require Helium 10 and the Magnet Keyword Tool, but it's a very, very good method of finding niches within a niche. Um, so a lot of dot-com sellers talk about niching down all the time. Now, on Amazon.co.uk, it's a slightly different story because there's not that many niches um, that have enough demand further down to actually you know, provide a viable opportunity to enter the market. However, a lot of the oversaturated niches, which we all typically ignore, they have these opportunities. So by combining that with Helium 10, I'm gonna show you a few examples of how you can find opportunities within an oversaturated niche. So I'm gonna start off by showing you the yoga mat niche. Now this is a very, very high demand niche, and you can see here I've got Jungle Scout ready, um, and you can see how many reviews um, these sellers have got and also the demand you know the demand is very very good in this niche however for most of us this is um, far too competitive you know need too many sales to get ranked um, so most, a lot of people don't have the budget to kind of do that initial launch um, and the reviews although personally I'm not too worried about free figure reviews um, I would still look prefer to find a market where there's a few less reviews than, than this so the, what I do is with a niche like this I take the keyword so for example in this case yoga mat I then go to Helium 10 and log in. Um, I've, I've covered Helium 10 before, um, so if you look back through my channel, you'll see a video from a couple of weeks ago when I covered it in detail. Um, it, for this um, research technique, we are using Magnet. So we go onto Magnet, and then in the keywords, we will put in Yoga Mat and choose.co.uk. And what this will do, as you can see, I've been uh, testing this already. This will bring through all of the relevant keywords associated with Yoga Mat. Um, now the key here is to use the filters to find either opportunities within that niche itself or to get ideas for similar related products um, that aren't so competitive but still have good demand. So the first thing I do when I'm doing this, I make sure there's at least two words in the search term. Um, because any one word search terms are probably going to be too competitive. So at least two words, a minimum search volume of 500 because based on my current product, I know that a search volume of 500 plus should provide enough traffic for a product to be viable. And then I also choose organic only. So we're only pulling results from Amazon organic results and not from any of the other areas. So just purely organic is what we want. And then I include um, the same search terms or a variation depending on what I've seen in the, the word frequency cloud, so you can look up here for ideas. But in this case, I'm gonna put in yoga, and then comma, and then mat. Now you have to put a comma in, it doesn't tell you to, but if you want to, um, it to detect both words, you have to put the comma in, otherwise um, it won't work. So put the comma in, make sure that's ticked as all, and then click apply. And this will bring, oh, well, this is only, it's actually, only actually brought down three results here, so let me, um, that's a bit too strict, so I want a few more results. So let's take out one of these words, so let's take out mat in this example and see what we get. And, and then we're gonna sort these by search volume. So now I've got lots of alternative search terms which could potentially provide other ideas. So obviously yoga mat is the top search term as you'd expect. Um, next one down, yoga block. Um, so this is 8,000 search volumes, that's, that's great volume. Yoga socks, um, what another one for you, so you got yoga block, and then the plural version there, yoga mats for home. And you can go down there and get ideas. So if we take the first example, so in this case, yoga block, and open this up. Let's run Jungle Scout on this. Now I'd usually, I'd usually use Helium 10 X-Ray, but as I'm making this video, um, Jungle Scout is quicker, so I'm just doing this for speed more than anything. So if we take a look at this niche in comparison, uh, we've got good demand. I mean, we've got um, 10, 10 to 15 sellers doing triple figures per month, which is good. The reviews, I mean, you've got three or four people with three figure reviews, and there's lots of people here with low reviews. Um, or relatively low reviews, doing reasonable numbers. So actually, as a first example, um, it's quite promising. If you compare that back to back with what we just saw, so the demand obviously drops off um, and the reviews are a lot lower. So high reviews, high demand, still good demand, um, but a lot better on the front of the competition perspective. So there we go, there's an idea for you guys, yoga blocks maybe, if, uh, if you want a niche to get into, obviously I haven't checked it out fully, but that's the first example. On to the next example. Now Johnny Bradley's gonna love this. We're gonna do water bottles. So massive demand. I mean, it's not very often on Amazon you'll see this many people um, in the four figure sector. So huge demand, but also you know wildly competitive as well based on, based on the review count. So we're gonna take that into Magnet as well. So let's go and put this up the top. Uh, water bottle. 
And then we're just going to apply the same filters again if they don't keep them. So first thing we want to do, the word count to two, search volume to 500, set it to organic results only, like so. And then we only want it to contain water and bottle. And click apply. And again, it will bring back a load of relevant keywords and we're going to sort these by search volume so you get the best um, it actually looks like it hasn't included those, so let's do that again, 200 and 500 to make sure they're included because we don't want the low scoring results in the list. Um, okay, so here we go, so let's, let's scroll down. So you can see that, as you'd expect, the first one is water bottle, then you've got chili water bottle, which is probably a brand, stainless steel, we've all seen those about, or we've even seen those in the supermarkets, chilies again, so it must be a brand, metal, sports, personalized. So you get lots of ideas um, for other opportunities within this niche. So as we get further down, you can see some like a bit more specific. So you've got the one liter and the two liter, again, uh, the chili stuff. So for example, let's try the two liter water bottle and see what we get. So there we go, we've got a collection of two liter water bottles that we can run Jungle Scout on. We'll see what that brings down. So you can see with this, again, we've maintained good demand. So you know this sort of demand, I'd be more than happy to go into a product of this, this level of demand. And again, the reviews there, okay, you got one, two, three, four, five, six, six or seven sellers with three figures, but there's people here with low reviews that are selling on the front page. So a two liter water bottle could be an opportunity within that niche, or maybe the one liter would be, but you can go through those keywords um, and get different ideas. But if you, if you can compare these back to back between the niche, niche down one and the top one, so water bottles there, huge demand, um, very competitive, and then the two litre water bottles, still very good demand, but the competition has dropped off massively. So Magnet allows you to find opportunities within what you'd probably typically class as an oversaturated niche. So let's do one more, and we have uh, backpacks. So backpacks is so competitive that when you search it, it actually converts to a category. So I've got Jungle Scout here, and you can see, again, very, very good demand. Um, competition's not crazy. It's still, it's still, still quite. You know, half of them are in the three figures, but it's still, you know, a lot of people. This has put a lot of people off. So, let's put backpacks into magnet. Um, the first thing you want to do is go through and apply the same filters. Um, as I mentioned earlier, you can look at the word frequency um, cloud for ideas as well. So, you know backpack obviously, but laptop, so maybe there's a, an opportunity for laptop backpack. So you might want to put that in your phrases to give you um, a different list of keywords and just put backpacks in there. So word count two, minimum search volume 500, competing products, we're not doing that, we're just doing organic. And then the keywords we want to use is backpack. So we'll do that search and see what we get. So again, sort by, sort by search volumes, the first thing you want to do once you get the results. And let's take a look. Uh, so actually, funny enough, based on what you said about the word cloud, uh, laptop backpack is actually one of the best keywords. Uh, Fortnite, if you're into your gaming, um, but obviously I wouldn't go into something like that due to the copyright. Uh, backpack for women, um, Adidas backpack, North Face, so lots of branded ones. Let's scroll a bit further down and see if we can find some of um, Under Armour Super Drive backpack. For, so backpacks for girls, maybe. Um, leather backpack, then that sounds more um, niche down, so leather backpack for women. Let's take a look what we've got. So these are quite nice. Let's run Jungle Scout and see what it says. So let's see what the figures are like for this. Um, so the monthly sales, not too bad. You know, maybe they've dropped off a fraction, but they're still, you know, pretty near enough 10 people in three figures. And um, if the competition's fairly low, which isn't too bad, it could be a potential niche, especially considering the price point of this niche. Um, so you don't always have to have a whole, whole page for the free figure sellers. You know, I look for at least ten, roughly. You know, that's not a hard or fast rule, but about ten sellers doing free figures. Um, and I would normally be quite interested in the niche if all the other stats check out. Um, so again, this one, I believe there could be an opportunity there. You know, a, fair, a reasonably expensive bag, reasonable demand, and fairly low competition. So hopefully those three examples give you an idea um, of a different product research technique to all of the usual ones that are out there by using keyword data from Magnet and Helium 10 to um, to kind of break down a niche to other niches. Um, and that's what you're looking for. You're looking for opportunities or alternative um, propositions within that niche. So 
if you are interested in trying that out, I, you know you know I don't push affiliate links on this channel, and this is the only affiliate link I ever talk about, it's Helium 10. Um, there's a couple of discount codes there, so if you want 10% off every month, you can use Darren 10, or if you want 50% off your first month, so you can try it out, you can use Darren 50. Also with Helium 10 is you can get a free monthly membership, which gives you two searches on Magnet per day. So let me know what you think of this research technique in the comments below, um, and if you found this video useful, hit that thumbs up button.